the bottom, we only need two and a half centimetres for the turn up on the hems. And she's got a lot more than that. So what I'm going to do is measure here. That's how much she needs for making the hems. So then I can unpin that. I'll just turn it around so I can still see that later. Okay, and flip it out. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so this bit here, this is the extra fabric that I need to cut off. So I'm going to measure. That is six centimeters and six. And just do a few lines across here like this. Six all the way across. Okay. And you will need help from your teacher figuring out how much fabric to cut off. Okay, so don't just think, oh, I need to cut off six because you might need to cut off 10 or you might need to cut off nothing. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to hold that really flat, put some pins, just put some pins close to this here so that it doesn't sort of move and I can cut through two layers. Okay, so straight through. Basically, the length of Nazareth shorts will be that short there, except we'll turn up two little turns and make them that short in the end. Okay. Hold up the bottom of the shorts. This is after you've actually cut off the excess, so you've pinned it up and you've checked how much extra you have and cut the extra off. You're actually going to need to fold up two and a half centimetres, but the two and a half centimetres will actually be two and a half initial fold up like this and then you fold in one centimetre in like that. So to do it just measure two and a half and go all the way around and just pin really close to this top edge here. The reason I get you to pin on that folded edge there is so that it holds that edge while you turn in the other one centimetre. Do that all the way around I've actually pinned two and a half all the way around and I've started to turn up. I'm going to turn up basically one centimetre and should be left with one and a half instead. Okay, I'll just check and just fold and check in each, at each point. Just check it over and over. So, fold up one left with one and a half, check the one and a half, yes that's good, put a pin into it. That's what we do all the way around. Thank you. Okay, now this is actually all pinned over at one and a half and I'm going to stitch along the edge so that this edge of the foot is along this edge of the fold and stitch all the way around. I've got the pins in sideways in a different way now just to hold them in place a bit easier. And I'm going to sew carefully close to the edge where it's folded until I get around. And I don't need to back stitch at beginning and end because I'm going to finish off my stitching right at the end by stitching over where I started. Okay, I will finish this one. threads out of the way and now I'll just finish by stitching over those stitches just a few of them and pulling away now the last stage of your shorts is just to cut all of these loose threads that you will have all over here is the casing where I finished it just here, you can see where I stick from here to here. And it's just gathered up like the rest of the top of the shorts now. Here are the hems, both complete. The only thing that I need to do is just to get rid of these tangly threads. So I need to cut them from the outside of the shorts 
and also go inside the shorts and just check for any loose threads and cut the loose threads off then give them an iron and make them look wonderful and then enjoy wearing them.